So you've just installed Composer 2.0 and you run it and you're presented with a dialog box to enter an email address and password. And you try an email address and password for your my.control4.com account and it doesn't work. Well this video will walk you through how to get Composer licensed. The first thing you need to be aware of is the person who is in charge of your my.control4.com dealer account needs to get involved and needs to be able to assign you a license. So if you don't know who that person is, you must contact your inside salesperson at Control4 to figure out who your administrator is for your my.control4.com account. In this case, I am logging in as a dealer to the my.control4.com website and I'm going to add a new user to my account and then assign that user a Composer Pro license. So I'll go to the Add New User button and then fill out the information about my employee. In this case, my employee is Steve Austin. I'll put in my employee's email address. Now, if the employee's email address has already been used for a consumer my.control4.com account, simply log into that consumer account and change the email address on the account profile page. Now, below here, you're going to see all these options, and the default is to allow them. I recommend you click deny on everything but the second one and if the employee is going to be doing remote support via Composer then have the last one on allow as well and then you click on save to save that employee. You can verify that employee is enabled back under the users area and you'll see that employee right there. If you want to remove them then of course you can do that in the future there as well. The next part is assigning the employee or our Steve a composer license. So we go to licenses and composer license and we can see that Steve is there and we can en enable him and then assign up to five licenses meaning five different computers can run composer and then we click on update. We can now go back to composer where Steve can enter the email address and password that we created for him on the dealer account. Once he clicks register composer will go out to our authentication server to validate that he is an authorized user of composer. Every time Composer runs after that and it's connected to the internet, it will check with our validation server to make sure that Steve is still an authorized user. Composer needs to check in at least once every 30 days or it will quit running altogether. If you need to deactivate a certain license on Steve, where a computer is now no longer in service, or he has left your company, you can do that on the Composer Pro License Administration page you can see where you can deactivate a single license or you can go up and uncheck enable to deactivate Steve as a user altogether and next time he runs composer and it validates or attempts to validate against our server it will no longer run if you have additional questions please consult the dealer forum or go to our dealer portal and consult the 2.0 training section there where there's a managing dealer accounts document available to you